Have you ever heard about post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD? How dangerous is it? What are the symptoms of PTSD? How does it affect your heart? Let's discuss this in detail. Post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is a mental health illness in which people suffer from many symptoms after experiencing a stressful incident. Post-traumatic stress disorder can lead to heart disease, intrusive thoughts, anxiety, avoidance and mood swings, as well as heart attacks. PTSD affects 6.8% of adults in the United States. Welcome to Scope Care, a safe and therapeutic place for patients and caregivers of all ages. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up on this video. Keep watching until the end. PTSD has been referred to by various names, including shell shock during World War I and combat fatigue after World War II, but it is not limited to combat veterans. PTSD affects people of all ethnicities, nationalities, cultures, and ages. PTSD affects about 3.5% of adults in the United States each year, and one in every 11 people will be diagnosed with it at some point in their lives. Women are twice as likely as males to suffer from PTSD. People with PTSD have intense, unpleasant thoughts and sensations revolving around the traumatic event that continue long after it has happened. They may have flashbacks or dreams about the event, and they may feel sad, fearful, angry, detached, or estranged from others. Individuals with PTSD may avoid places or people that remind them of the trauma. They may have intense, unpleasant reactions to seemingly innocuous things like loud noises or unintentional touches. A traumatic event must be identified for a professional to diagnose PTSD. However, it isn't necessarily always firsthand. The exposure could be indirect. Individuals who learn about the violent death of a close family member or friend, for example, could get PTSD. It can also occur following continuous exposure to gory details of a trauma, such as police officers witnessing child abuse incidents or other disturbing crimes. PTSD has also been linked to cardiovascular disease, one of America's deadliest conditions. The human heart rate can increase to 38 beats per minute when under stress. When the heart rate rises, the chest tightens, the breath shortens, and the individual may lose consciousness and fall to the floor in some cases. Mental illnesses can have a significant impact on the cardiovascular system, so much so that the results could be fatal with enough damage over time. One person dies every 36 seconds in the United States after suffering a heart attack due to cardiovascular disease. The chances of dying from the disease increase when PTSD comes into play. Symptoms and Diagnosis Symptoms of PTSD fall into four categories. Specific symptoms can vary in severity. Number one, intrusion. Examples of intrusive thoughts are repeated, involuntary memories, disturbing dreams, or flashbacks to the traumatic event. People may have such intense flashbacks that they believe they are reliving or seeing the traumatic experience again. Number two, avoidance. Avoiding a traumatic event can involve avoiding people, places, activities, things, and situations that bring up painful memories. People may strive to forget or avoid recalling the terrible event. They may be adamant about not discussing what happened or how they feel about it. Number three, Alterations in cognition and mood. Inability to recall crucial facts of the traumatic event, negative thoughts, and feelings that lead to persistent and inaccurate views about oneself and others, such as, I am bad, or no one can be trusted. Constant fear, horror, rage, guilt, or humiliation, significantly less interest in previously loved activities, feeling disconnected or estranged from others, or being unable to experience pleasant feelings, resulting in a lack of enjoyment or fulfillment. All of these are alterations in cognition and mood. Number four, 
alterations in arousal and reactivity, being irritated and having furious outbursts, behaving recklessly or in a self-destructive way, being overly vigilant of one's surrounding, feeling highly suspicious of others, being easily started or having trouble concentrating or sleeping are all examples of excessive arousal and reactivity. Symptoms must endure for more than a month and create significant distress or difficulty in the individual's everyday activities to result in a PTSD diagnosis. Many people experience symptoms within three months of the trauma, although symptoms can also occur later and last for months or even years. Depression, alcohol abuse, memory problems, and other physical and mental health issues are all common co-occurring illnesses with PTSD. So what is the treatment plan for PTSD? It's important to remember that not everyone who has been through a traumatic event get PTSD, and not everyone with PTSD requires psychiatric therapy. For some people, PTSD symptoms may fade or diminish over time. Others improve with the help of their support systems, which may include family, friends, or religion. However, many people with PTSD require professional help to recover from severe and debilitating psychological suffering. It's important to remember that trauma can cause a lot of pain. The individual is not to blame for their pain, and PTSD is treatable. The earlier someone gets treatment, the higher are their chances of recovery. Psychiatrists and other mental health experts use many effective techniques to help people with PTSD recovery. Effective, evidence-based therapies for PTSD include talk, psychotherapy, and medication. Cognitive behavior treatments, or CBT, are particularly effective psychotherapy. Cognitive behavior therapy used to treat PTSD includes cognitive processing therapy, prolonged exposure therapy, and stress inoculation therapy. Let's discuss them one by one. Due to the trauma, cognitive processing therapy focuses on modifying painful feelings like shame, guilt, and others, as well as negative beliefs such as I have failed and the world is dangerous. Therapists help the individual confronting such upsetting memories and feelings. Prolonged exposure therapy, or PET, involves repeated, detailed imaginings of the trauma or progressive exposures to symptom triggers in a safe, controlled way to help a person confront and acquire control of anxiety and sadness, as well as to learn to cope. Virtual reality programs, for example, have been used to help PTSD patients re-experience the battlefield safely and therapeutically. Stress inoculation therapy aims to provide the individual with the essential coping abilities to successfully defend against stressful triggers by exposing them to lower amounts of stress, similar to how a vaccination prevents infection after exposure to an illness. Before we continue with the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel Scope Care to watch more informative content in the future. Do you have any questions so far? Let us know in the comments section. A range of psychotherapy treatments can be used in treating post-traumatic stress disorder. Research-based evidence is accumulating to demonstrate their efficacy in the treatment of PTSD. Consider what you'd like to talk about with a mental health expert, such as your thoughts, feelings, symptoms, and more. All of this information is useful to your therapist in helping you understand and manage your symptoms. Group therapy helps survivors of similar traumatic events to discuss their feelings and experiences in a safe, non-judgmental environment. Members of the group helped one another realize that many others would have reacted in the same way and had the same emotions. Because the behavior and distress of the person with PTSD can influence the entire family, family therapy may be beneficial. Medication can also help in the control of PTSD symptoms. Relieving the symptoms using medicine helps many people participate in psychotherapy more effectively. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and serotonin nonepinephrine reuptake inhibitors are two antidepressants that are often used to treat the primary symptoms of PTSD. 
They can be used alone or combined with other therapies, such as psychotherapy. There are also several emotional and physical strategies to cope with PTSD. Taking care of your mental and physical health is one of the most important ways to cope with PTSD and many other conditions. These tactics can be used in combination with your treatment to help you cope with PTSD and strengthen your mind and body in ways that will serve you in daily life. Finding time for prayer, meditation, and other mindfulness exercises can help calm our bodies and minds because of the high level of stress, anxiety, and overwhelm that people with PTSD often experience. If the thought of this makes you feel uneasy, remember that there is no obligation to perform. Even just one or two minutes of silent meditation per day might seem like a victory. However, the purpose of that time is to be focused entirely on the present moment, free of any fear or judgment. Gradually increase the amount of time you spend, giving yourself opportunities to feel peaceful and learn how to rebalance if you become overwhelmed or nervous. Number two, exercise. It's just as important to exercise your body as it is to relax your mind. Taking time to enjoy the outdoors, breathe fresh air, and move our bodies can help us control our moods and emotions. Furthermore, physical activity can help our brains or hearts better cope with stress. According to psychologists, even a daily 10-minute walk can improve our mood and relieve anxiety and stress. Here are some things to think about when you begin. Choose an activity that you enjoy. Set achievable goals for yourself. Consistency is key. While exercising, listen to music or podcasts. Invite a friend to come with you. Allow yourself to be patient. Drink plenty of water. Make sure to dress for the weather. This brings us to the end of today's video. There are many effective ways to treat PTSD and treating PTSD can lead to improvements in other areas of your life. If you or a loved one are struggling with PTSD, take action immediately. Do you have any questions regarding post-traumatic stress disorder? Let us know in the comments section. Your health comes first. Keep watching Scope Care for more exciting content and updates on a healthy lifestyle by subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Stay healthy, stay cool, bye.